Royal King here with uh, Leo Moore as we're here in Salem, Oregon once again. And we got seven big matches coming up on this chapter. One match we had to postpone uh, for next week if we can get it, if uh, Eric Foreman would show up here. He didn't want to show up here tonight, so therefore, uh, you know, it's like uh, Zach Adams did not get his wish. Well, look who we want with Eric Foreman. Eric Foreman thinks he can do whatever the hell he wants. But I keep forgetting that Eric Foreman right now does not have a contract with MSW. I wonder what the heck he's going to ask if he wants to sign with, if we, if uh, Fatal wants him to sign. What is going to be his incentives? Personally, I wouldn't mind seeing him not here at all. And right now, we just saw in the back, I guess everybody's taking pictures with uh, with uh, the new improved Michael Blaze. As uh, Dan Housen's calling him that right now. Dan Housen and Grim Gory. Oh, poor Blaze. It's going to happen to a nicer guy. Heck. It's an improvement. Heck. After all the stuff he's been doing to everybody, he deserves it. So let's get to the ring right now. I'm going to go use the facilities real quick. I'll be right back. I do apologize for the inconvenience.
We're back on the air here, folks. Uh, Doyle King and uh, is back, and uh, we are over here watching the Hell in a Cell matchup. Yeah, definitely. It started off. This is a this is a matchup between Bouge and Bad and uh, Hardcore Line. So we're up one and one. So they got the rubber match in the Hell in a Cell tonight. Interesting way to end this uh, series of matches. Let's put it that way. So right now, look, we got war going on here, man. Stratton and Hobson train off punches. I'll tell you that much right now. And these are two teams that have been going at it. I'll tell you that much right now. Gotta say like it is, I mean. Oh, definitely. Call like it is, that, for sure. And then, uh, we're gonna close out the main event time, which is gonna be Gabe Kidd against Marcus King. Or Gabe Kidd's uh, MSW World title. That it is indeed. Now, oh, Suspiria gets thrown against the cage wall by uh, Candlelight. Hello there. Hello there again, Captain Awesome. And right now, this has been nothing but a uh, just a punch out matchup between these four uh, individuals. and going right out of the candlelight but the powerhouses of each team there yeah definitely that's going to be a heavy hitting brawl between those two lots of Hobson and candlelight the battle between these two teams. Question is, are, is anybody going to be daring to go over, go over to the top of the cage? That's going to be the question we want to know, and what's going to happen if it does? Let's put it that way.
Oh no, RuPaul's in the back. She's saying that I heard you guys were you guys want to sign up Michael Blaze for Drag Race. Oh my gosh. And Dan Helsing and Grim Glory are giving Michael Blaze to RuPaul. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wonder what RuPaul's gonna think of Michael Blaze. Wait a minute, Grim is telling Dan. I was like, I don't think his name is Michael anymore. I think it's Michelle Blaze. I got an idea since he was uh, hanging around with a Russian. We can name him Michaela Blaze. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh man. I think I think Michael Michael Blaze got what was coming to him. Let's say what it is, okay? Michael Blaze got what was coming to him. Yeah, you know, you can't really feel sorry for Blaze. His mouth gets him in trouble. If he would concentrate more on his wrestling than uh insulting everybody, he would be he would be very successful. Wow, he can tell bad jokes? Oh man, did Dan Housen just tell RuPaul that uh Michael Blaze can tell bad jokes? He's good at sitting pretty. Oh my gosh. There's a conversation right there. Dan Hells and RuPaul. I think he can write songs. I think, uh, I think, I, I think, I think, uh, Blaze can write songs too, I heard. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. I wish I was a fly on the wall right now, Doyle. Nah, you really don't want to because you might get you might get swatted by accident. True. And it, yeah, definitely. But right now this uh brawl this brawl fall going on between these two teams. Anoki says he can lose, so oh my gosh. <laughs> Anoki says he can lose. That's true. RuPaul says we don't want him. He's I uh, uh, he says he uh, uh, Listen, she said that she saw the show and says that Blaze is rude and mean to the fans. Oh man, there's another blown opportunity for Blaze. Darn it. Oh, at least Dan Hells and Grim Gore, you gotta give them an A for effort. They tried. I gotta admit right now, I gotta admit about Dan House and Grand Glory. They're so charitable, even to mean people. Yeah, I, I, I think it's like a little dilapidating this kind of matches sometimes. That's really goodness. I'll go out of character there for a second.
RuPaul says a Loki is a legend. He, he, if he says Blaze is a loser, then he is a loser. We'll give him the bet. We'll give him a test trial. See how he'll see how close. Uh, see how he does it. If he if he writes songs, he might be useful for for that. We will we will take Blaze. Thank you. Wow. Blaze may have a new career after all. Holy cow. Blaze may have a career after MSW. Wow. Hold on here. This is getting a little redundant. I hate when they do this stuff, man. Let's see, hopefully I can do that all right. There you go. Hopefully they stay... In oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. A little bit of crippling move on candlelight. And RuPaul ends it with Blaze, you're gonna work. Oh my gosh. Oh boy, Stratton and Hobson going for a high altitude here, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare. Oh, wait a minute, Candlelight. Oh. Almost had it, they're so close. But they didn't even get a count. And right now, Hobson and uh, Stratton are fighting on top, are uh, fighting on near the top, and they're, they're both hanging on to the wall. Better be careful, you get knocked out of there. Uh, basically, basically, you're falling those tables. They might fall in front of us, Doyle. Yeah, they got a good chance of doing that if they're not careful. Avalanche coast to coast. Oh my gosh, man. That could be it. And Candlelight gets pinned by Suspiria. Wow. Now, Bougie and Bad may have lost that one, but you know what? There's always a chance for him to get another uh, shot to titles because, uh, I mean, there's always contenders matchups. Yeah, there sure is. But of course, I think it's thanks as we've done in AI. All I want to do was just uh, fight on the outside there. Nobody wasn't really making any progress. Yeah, I'll admit, 2K still has its hiccups. Let's put it that way. I'll admit. Did like the way that one ended, but what can you do? I mean, yeah. Maybe down the road we'll have, maybe maybe there might be another match sign up between them down the road. Coming up next, we got Devin the Bandit against Evil. You know, I got a scary thought about this. What is that, uh, Leia? I think Evil may have met up with an individual that's more evil than he is. You know, a very good point. Look at Devin the Bandit. He looks like some from a horror movie. He definitely looks scarier than Evil. And all day he throws fire. That he does. And this has been decided under extreme rules since both of them like to break the rules so much. Fatal threw the rule book out and said, screw it.
And Michael Blaze is saying, get me out of here. He just now woke up and now he's saying, get me out of here. <laughs> oh boy, here we go, folks. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. And is for the Lucha Hardcore Hybrid Championship. And there is that monster they call Devin the Bandit. This guy was something else. We seem to we seem to just obliterate Robert Maris in his debut. He is definitely big and he is scary, and that's a combination that I don't think we all want to deal with. Yeah, I say that much right now. We definitely don't want to deal with that. And now in his third match, he has an opportunity to become the X Division Champion. Because all because of how he placed in that battle royal as the runner-up, the Marcus. Where Marcus is going to get that big opportunity tonight. There he is, folks. Evil. One of the most diabolical wrestlers that we have seen there in Musty Wrestling. Well, he is on that list, definitely. I'll admit that much right now. Yeah, definitely. You know what? Evil's got that reputation. He may be going against somebody that might that might uh, match him for that and Devin the Bandit. Introducing the challenger. Michael Blaze saying, RuPaul, how did I get here? Michael Blaze says, I am a great songwriter. I wrote all of Michael Jackson's songs. Oh my gosh. He's going to start that claim again? you got to be kidding me. Great gosh, I'm angry. And Gabe Kitt says, no, you didn't, you Yankee. Oh, my gosh. How many times do you got to tell Gabe Kitt he's not Don Manley or Dave Winfield? Or Willie Randolph, for that matter. Ricky Henderson? True.
All right, here we go, folks. Sorry to get this going. And right now, Evil trying to conquer this big guy. And calls himself, uh, Devin the Bandit. Oh, man, what a shot by Devin. For a big guy, he's got some agility. Where the heck are they, what are they feeding these kids nowadays? I don't know, you got me. But that was a uh, high kick by somebody in the size of Delvin there. Right now, Devin just trashing Evil. Like I said, I think Evil might have made his match. I think he might have met somebody that's more evil than he is. You could be right. And right now, Devin in trouble now as Evil got the advantage finally after a while. Yeah, Devin was trashing throughout the match. Oh my gosh. Going for the pin is evil. Oh, and evil wins. That means, oh man. You know what that means? He gets a cash in that, uh, oh man. Oh. That means he gets an opportunity to cash in that, uh, X Division title now for a future ti world title shot. He gets his wish. Oh boy. All hell's gonna break loose now. I think I see a fan out there with a sign saying Deport Evil. Seriously, where is it at? Somewhere up there in the upper decks. Wow. And Evil saying dumb idiots thinking I will lose. Well, yeah, we thought you did, but you, uh, you showed us, I guess. Well, coming up next, six, the trio's towels on the line. Wochow, Gray, and Lorenzo defended against Bull Run, and because of Fatal's new role, Gray is allowed to be that six-man champion defending that title because Morbid won the tri american title earlier. And that means uh, trios are allowed to have alternate members. Good rolling. Also, we got Banjo Plow and Ray Little with Chick Donovan. Hello there, folks. Chick Donovan here with you in beautiful Salem, Oregon. I'm here with the challenger tonight, Bull Run, who's had those titles on two different occasions. Can they make it a third tonight? Yeah, yeah, bleach blonde bimbo. We're going to make it. We're going to make it a third occasion. We, we got some goofball in a mask. We got some raggedy Andy doll. And we got some guy. I don't know what the heck you can call that Lorenzo guy. I don't know. <laughs> I think you can call him a doofus. I'll tell you that much right now for stepping in a ring with us. That's it, Ray. Yeah, there you go. What do you think, Plow? Well, I think these guys are going to be easy. Oh, great. Security saying we caught a, uh, some crazy guy in a pink dress trying to sneak into the building. Hey, stop him. Stop him. I'll tell you what. Uh, You know what? If you find him, go give him a moonshine bath. Sounds like a plan. Can we be invited? Sure, I think we're going to run it. <laughs> I 
Well, of course, you heard that from Bull Run. Let's hear from the uh, champions. Wocha, Lorenzo, and Grit. Hello, guys. Sasha Stone here. I am here with uh, Wocha, Grit, and Lorenzo. Any comments before the match tonight? Well, once again, we get to go against... It feels like one of those HBO action movies of the week. And forget Williamson, Roundtree, and Jim Brown. It's Wocha, Lorenzo, and Grit in action. And I'll tell you what, right now, we're going to take care of these. We're going to take care of these uh, hillside gangsters that call themselves Bull Run. And let me say something right now, guys. You ain't, you're ain't, you not taking these trio tiles off our waist. Good luck on trying because it isn't going to happen. Lorenzo, you got anything to say? I'll tell you what, I'm not done with Barbie Blaze. I'm not done with Draven Caius. I'm not done with whoever's going to be the TV champion because I guarantee you right now I want back in that dance again. And, I, and I'll tell you that much right now. You can mark my words on I'm going to get back in there. Correct? What do you guys say, Mr. Beast of Bray? I'm here to defend the title on that behalf of a great friend of mine, Mor Reverend Morbid, who won the Troy American title. Congratulations, mate. I was like, I don't mind. I like teaming up with my old comrades, the Ch Wolf, Wolf and Zoe. Say that much right now. Tonight, Bull Run, you better be prepared to get a roll, roll style beatdown. I'll say that much right now. All right, let's get to the ring right now. Michael Blaze is saying, get out of my, out of my way. I'm trying to get in my locker room. Oh, boy. I wonder if they're going to buy into it. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring at a combined weight of 545 pounds. Michael Blaze is now attacking security guard. Are you serious? Gosh, when is Blaze ever going to learn? I think we got an answer for that. Never. And now Evil just bumped into place. Oh my, this might get interesting. Yeah. You better run, Michael. Say. Yeah, definitely for sure. You're not kidding. Michael Blaze says, watch where you're going, moron. Oh, my gosh. Did he just say that to like, oh, evil? He was like, why, sh why don't you shut your mouth and uh, move your small rat-sized tail? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I think I'm going to step away from that for a second. Yeah, I think you and me both, Leia. And at a combined weight of 752 pounds. And here they are, folks. There's the challengers right there. Ball one. This is going to get interesting between these two. I mean, uh, what's her face? Uh, Evil and Blaze. Two of the most hated people maybe on the roster. 
Yeah, definitely. Who else would you consider up there in the top 10 most hated here in must-see wrestling? Probably Gabriel Kidd. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. But he'd be in that lower half of the bottom 10 because uh, it seems like he uh, there's a lot more people are hated than him. Probably RJ Lucas, Billy Paul. You got to think about those names. Probably uh, Brandon Styles now, which is disappointing. Or I'll consider it this way. I mean, uh, with those guys around, you know, Bull One might be a, considered a breath of fresh air. Who knows? And I'll be that insane to say that. And Eel said, move bleep. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we had to bleep out that other word. And the referee in this bout is Lola Margarita. Yeah, Lola Margarita, she is an uh, import from, uh, she is from uh, over in California. She did some referee work in uh, PWG and uh, some of those and championship wrestling from Hollywood. And look at look at her go trying to score, uh, she's uh, paying attention to this match closely. Uh, you know, it seems like it's better than some of those uh, referees that don't pay attention. And Lorenzo had Banjo pinned, but Banjo gets out of it. I think it's going to take a little bit more than that to uh, take down the big guy. Big Banjo. Big Banjo indeed. And right now, look, and you see how big, you see how uh, those shots hit the real child, those chops. Yeah, those are some uh, nasty shots by uh, boy, uh, Banjo on real uh, child. And oh boy. Oh man, what does what y'all got in mind? Oh! Knee right in the ribs. Oh my gosh, while he's hung up on the ropes. Ray Little doing a good job of taking on Grit. Who could you consider be each team's weak link? I don't know. That's a good question. Maybe Lorenzo because he's throwing himself out too thin. I don't know. Nothing against it. Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, but otherwise he's strong, and that's you know. But he's like the uh, least strong. I would say he's like the least strong in this situation because I don't know. As I know, Great and Wilchow take care of themselves real well. Beside, despite what happened to Wilchow in that match against Billy Paul. But on the other hand, probably Ray Little. Ray Little's just there because rumor says he's talking about maybe getting another member in the bull run. Plow getting plowed by uh, Lorenzo's right hand. Uh oh. Oh, rocket kick. Beautifully done, but Lorenzo is not done yet. There's a beautiful spine buster. But if Lorenzo's like, but if I if I consider Lorenzo, and it's no it's no shot at Lorenzo. I mean. Each one of those guys in the wolf pack are strong. Are, are, are all strong, and that's it. But uh, you know the what? You know what? he proved me wrong right there. Warrens and got the pin. Here are your winners. They knew that went after a disastrous week last week. When Lorenzo lost alongside the Whammy, and then of course you had uh, Wilchow losing a big time Billy Paul. But then Michael Bush just say in the back, don't shave me? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh boy, this is uh this is turning into a disastrous night. Oh my gosh.
Coming up next, Trevor Johnson and Alex Brimstone going against Monaco and Arrow for those tag team titles in a tornado tag match. Yeah, Brimstone did win that Battle Royal while last week, uh, the Captain's Battle Royal. So therefore, he gets that, sh he got his uh, team that shot. And now Evil just hit Blaze with the X Division Championship. What a surprise. Yeah, definitely. Opportunity arises. Rockstar Steve, of course, wound up getting an X Division title shot, so he may be getting a shot against Evil if Evil does not cash that in for a world title shot. He gets that decision now because he made that one defense. And now Michael Boy says he will sue. Michael Boy, every time Michael Boy gets hit, he's going to sue. The man of a lo you know, we heard a man of a thousand holds. I, I call Michael Blaze a man of a thousand lawsuits. And there is Hell's End right there, Brimstone and Johnston. Big opportunity for these kids. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 612 pounds. And there they are, folks, the tag team champions. Quickly becoming one of the most dominant teams. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that much right now. One of the very dominant teams. He also he also says, Blaze, you're not on the House of Torture's level because you're pathetic. Oh my gosh. Oh man, unbelievable. Here we go, folks. The bell is wrong. Should be a big time wrestling match here, definitely. But that's what the Tower Show is, isn't it, Doyle? You know you got that right on there. Brimstone doing a good job. It's now crunching on the back of Monaco. But uh, Arrow able to save him. And there you go right there. Arrow holding Brimstone. And he nailed him with that kick. Monaco did. Now Johnson runs over there and runs well shot all over on Monaco. and Brimstone going at it. And 
Michael Blaze is uh, yelling at an old lady saying, hey, Grandma, can you hear me? Oh, jeez. You know what? He needs to leave people alone. Michael Blaze is a bully. Yeah, he is. For heaven's sakes, man. Michael Blaze is just something else. And that's something else, I don't know what he is. He's just that something else. just told her to turn up her hearing aid. Oh, that's just wrong. What the holy heck? That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, holy heck is right. That sums it up. Michael Blaze is ignorant and, uh, you know, rambunctious. Tell us who's things going on as uh, Arrow taking down Brimstone while Johnson's taking care of Monaco. And now uh, we're watching as, oh man, oh boy. Not good for, oh man. Gamers, game over. That could be it. Oh man, one count only as Monaco hits uh, Brimstone. Set it up. Uh oh. Oh, wait a cross face. And Monaco's gonna get out of it, but how much of that will uh, weaken him? There's a the question. right now, look at a little lackadaisical at the fans, I mean, uh, he might be out of it, I mean, yeah, Monaco took a nasty choke slam, and uh, I think it might took a while of his thinking ability, who knows, could be possible, Doyle, but no, he's coming back there with a beautiful leg drop there, oh, short end power bomb by uh, Brimstone, Oh man, slams him against a turnbuckle. Now, Arrow saving uh, Monaco from Brimstone. Oh, nasty backbreaker bill on uh, Arrow. That's gonna take a lot out of him. Throws him against the thing again. Oh man, bear hug. But you know, you gotta do it inside the ring. But you know what, it's still, it's still gonna weaken the hell out of the arrow. Yeah, bear hugs is gonna take a lot out of you. They might suck up all your uh, energy for the match. All your remaining energy. Oh, man. 
with a slam. Oh man, and Monaco's just getting nailed here. And now Arrow, yeah, that's good strategy. They, uh, we can, uh, they beat up Monaco badly that uh, they were able to give, uh, they, to get the jump on Arrow. Yeah, two big guys against two agile guys. Who's gonna win? That's that's always a contest. And I can tell you the answer right now, Doyle. Which would be whoever can win the use their skill the most. Whoever can make their skill most essential for themselves. You got that right. Oh, there's a brain buster by Monica. Oh gosh, man. Nasty, uh, nasty suplex by, uh, Trevor Johnson, man. I'll tell you that much right now. Right now, I'll tell you what. It could be anybody's match here. I can tell you that much right now. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, pinned by Earl. Oh, one count only. Oh, two count by uh, Monaco on Johnson. Oh, man. Double aerial assault on uh, both uh, by the champions on uh, Trevor Johnson. Now Johnson throws uh, Arrow back in there. Now, oh, nasty back suplex by Johnson on Monaco. This may turn out to be a damn good night for Hills and if they can. Uh, Capture the titles here tonight. I'll tell you that much right now because Rockstar Steve plays for a uh, X Division title shot down the road. And then, of course, you got uh, these guys look like they look like they're out to win it. Yeah, of course, yeah, it's extreme, but it's not ECW rules, but it's Tornado Tag. I think the thing about it is, like, there is a disqualification, but there is no count out. These were all four guys in the ring. Yeah, rightfully so. Oh, man. Monaco blocks it. Oh, wait a minute. Miscommunication. Oh, man. Oh, man, breaks it up. Brimstone hits a brutal bomb. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that arrow with the rollover. But, oh, wait a minute. Wow. Going for the pin again. Once again, a one count by Johnson. Oh man, look at that. Oh man, we got a lot of action going on here. And the fans are uh, pumped up here in Salem. Oh man, my, oh man, there, there it is. Might be it. And Monaco scores a pin once again on Johnson. What a hell of a matchup. Tough win, tough loss. Oh man, look at Monaco, he is bloody.
Big time win for uh, Air Attack. You know what? That, that that might be a reality coming up soon with uh, Shabal and Foreman uh, grab that rubber match against these two. Definitely might be, for sure. What would their uh, third match be? That's a good question. You know, you don't know. Coming up next, Sweetness against Sarah Perry. As we're winding down this show, we'd like to thank you all for being here tonight. Definitely. Then coming up after this, we got Iron Tail against Brian Styles, and then the main event, Marcus King to get a shot at Gabriel Kidd for a world title. And Michael Blaze just said, get that cow out of my ring. You you know what? Just be quiet. And what the hell? What is Blood Oath doing with Sarah Perry? Oh, man. What is going on there? The following contest is scheduled for one Oh, man. It is for the Women's World Championship. This is going to be unique. Yeah, what the hell is Blood Oath doing there with, uh, coming, uh, coming down there with Sarah Perry? I don't know. There's Sarah Perry right there. That MSW Women's Champion. Been one of the most dominant women here as of late again. Yeah, Sarah Perry, I'll tell you what. I She might be one of the most dominant women athletes there is right now. Like it or not. Michael Blaze says, stay away from me, peasant. And Gabriel Kidd says, sure thing, baby Blaze.
There's that beautiful women's championship held by Sarah Perry. Introducing the challenger. You can buy a replica belt right now for $99.99. Right now at the merchandise stand for MSW. Probably wind up on well, uh, yeah, like uh, Fatal will have to do for certain individuals that would happen to win those titles. Yeah. We don't have to say which ones, but uh, yeah. And there is Sarah Perry right there. And Sarah's got a uh, heck of a, a tall order to uh, knock, knock down here tonight. Oh, and look at that sweetness, man. I'll tell you what. Well, I, I'd like to know what Blood Oath's association with Sarah Perry is right now. Yeah, that just baffles the heck out of me. Wow. What is going on there? Why well, you not know, in the hardcore line so far? Suspiria and uh, Hobson uh, wound up retaining those uh, women's tag team titles tonight. It sure did. Burfo was in that battle royal, but she did not succeed too well tonight because she couldn't even place a uh, title match on there for any title. So uh, she's playing a part of cheerleader right now against Sweetness. Oh, look at that, Perry, wow. She just thrust herself right into Sweetness and now drops a leg. Sweetness grabs her, I mean, Sweetness shook that off like it was nothing. And Gabriel Kid just told Blaze, do you need your own milk bottle? Champ takes control of uh, sweetness. Uh, wraps that arm right across the rope. Ooh, man. Oh, misses a second one. Wow. But she gets back up and nails sweetness quickly with that forearm shot. Look at uh, Bertha distracting uh, Sarah Perry. Uh, Sweetness took advantage of it. There you go. Yeah, not much you can do. All she was doing is distracting, not uh, touching. The disqualification rules play differently in the world of wrestling. You only can get disqualified if you uh, touch somebody. You get your client disqualified if you uh, touch your opponent. Nice flip over snack, uh, uh, neck breaker. And now, ooh, man. Sweetness just took a shot to the face, and now, oh boy. All right on the arm, ouch. Perry feeling it now. Oh, look at it. Oh, my gosh. Uh oh, fanny pack. And Fanny Pack does it. Sarah Perry wins the match. Here is your winner, and still women's world champion, Sarah Perry. 
Sarah Perry, still the MSW Women's World Champion. I want to know what's this whole association with Blood Oath is. That's why I want to know. Who knows? Who the hell knows? Maybe I don't want to know. Well, folks, uh, we'll be right back. We got Brandon Styles against Iron Taylor coming up. There he is, folks. Brandon Styles against Iron Taylor. We kid you not. And it is ECW rules. Well, this is going to be an interesting situation. Here's the thing we're going to explain here for a second. Here's the deal. If Iron Tower wins and Gabriel Kidd wins, uh, retains the title, there'll be, a, there'll be a world title match up for those guys down the road. I guess, uh, who knows? If Brandon Stiles wins, or, uh, well, you know, it's all depend. There's a lot of if-thens. I'll tell you that much right now. But one of these guys will get a future world title shot in this matchup. I mean, let's put it this way. Aaron Taylor's got three options to go against, which would be Gabriel Kidd, Marcus King, and Baron Von Farkas. On the other hand, you got Brandon Stiles, who's got the same three options, but we know he's not going to go after Gabriel Kidd. Yeah, he, he, right now, you know what? Brandon, Brandon Stiles is playing a part of Gatekeeper. Evil saying, can both of them lose? Maybe. It could be possible. And then, of course, don't forget the other elements involved in this world title chase. You got Evil, who's got that X Division title. He can cash that in for a world title shot now. And then, you got, of course, you got big time Billy Paul with the briefcase. South Carolina, weighing in at 191 pounds. Boy, this world title chase has become a lot of interest. Yeah, definitely. With those uh, six guys involved in that puzzle? Yeah. yeah. Seven, I should say, in that matter. And his opponent from Fresno. And there's Iron Tail right there. Bring in at 183 pounds, Iron Taylor. Fresno Zone, Iron Taylor, which is uh, which is in a state next to uh, downward from uh, Oregon, which would be California. And I think I'll be in the next state that we're gonna make a tour in. That's gonna be that's gonna take about a month, I think. Yeah, a lot of great cities over there that we're going to be hitting. Now Iron Terror going out right there with Brandon Styles. Big time slam by Taylor. Taylor start off quickly. Yeah, maybe the court the earlier he can get he can get this done. The better. 
Because Brandon Cell is one of those guys knowing when the match goes longer, he can turn around in his favor quickly. Yeah, he can. Oh, look at that right away. See right there what a momentum changer I ran Styles is? Now we want, I wonder if he got frustrated with the World Wrestling so much that he uh, decided to join the War Dogs. There's a question I want to know. We asked Crichton about it, and he says that uh, he still has respect for Styles, even though he might be he might be an enemy now, but he still has respect for Styles because he remembers when Styles uh, shook his hand and said he made the best man win in that World Title match when Crichton won that title. And that started an interesting series of interesting elements. I mean, you had that, you had, uh, then you had uh, Coffin Joe and coming stealing the title for Crichton. Then you had a mystery man stealing it back on the motorcycle, which we found out was Price Sanders. And as a result, Price Sanders and Corey Crichton, the worst of enemies at one time, had become very good friends. They have, and it's like right now they're trying to get their tag team off the ground here, and uh, they're being patient about it. They understand it takes time. I think they even got a nickname for it. They call it Touch of English. That's what they did. have dubbed their tag team name, a Touch of English. Look at Taylor reversing it. The Dinky Man's Russell, the high, the, the high IQ Russell, as they call him, and we see the reason why. And right now, Taylor comes in with the stop sign, but not able to use it. Ah, missed the uh, run. Oh, oh, man, right on the stop sign. Oh, gosh, man. I'm pretty sure it was from the angle. It looked like from on the stop sign. Oh, I missed the moonsault. Brandon Stubbs getting backdropped and almost now getting pinned here. Oh man, punching the breadbasket by Taylor. Wow, and that has some force to it, some authority. Uh oh, what's Taylor sent up for here? Oh boy, high angle power bomb by the Iron Taylor. Oh man, throws a stop sign at him, but Styles just shook it off like it was freaking nothing. And now Styles put up. Barrage and moves on Taylor. Oh, almost again. Wow. Hell of a matchup. Tell you what, this is unbelievable. I mean, no matter what, I mean, heck. Both of these guys should be worthy of title shots the way this uh, belt's going. But, yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't work like that right now. Somebody's got to make a pin in order to get that. to be concerned for that title shot. And Taylor might do it here. And Taylor has done it. Big win for Iron Taylor. Congratulations. Here is your winner, Iron Taylor. Wow, congratulations, Iron Taylor. Big win for him. He definitely, he needed that win, definitely, no doubt about it. I know he suffered a couple of close, tough matches, and uh, they didn't come up his way. Now, he's got one that did. Main event time, Marcus Kidd. And now Finley jumps Taylor. Come on. He's not even supposed to be here. Yeah, he's been suspended indefinitely.
And Finley is now jumping Taylor. He's hitting with that shillelagh now. Oh, my gosh, man. Oh, jeez. Man, I'll tell you what. What the heck? Oh, wait a minute. Fatalo's coming down there at ringside there, telling Finley that he's not supposed to be here. He's like, he's got 10 seconds to get out of here. And Fatalo's yelling at Finley, saying, get, go, get out. You're not, you haven't even been, uh, you, have, you even haven't been ready for your uh, trial yet. I told you what it is. If you're not guilty, I'll give you a contract. I'll, I'll make your, I will only stay in your contract. And Finley says, fine, you bloody witch. Oh my gosh. Did he just call Fatal a witch? What the heck? Everybody likes calling Fatal a witch. The following contest. And Finley jumps over the audience as, uh, jumps over the barricade into the audience as, uh, he looks at Fatal like saying, fine. He's like, he, and then, now he tells her, he's like, won't you reinstate my contract? God help this roster. And Blaze just dirty punch Finley? What the heck? Oh boy, Taylor just said that Finley is Blaze's sister. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's an ugly sister then. Oh my gosh. Here comes the world champion Gabriel Kidd. Finley saying some words coming from an old loser. As uh, Finley keeps jaw jacking with Fatal and Taylor. And Finley says enough of this crap. And uh, he turns around and. Oh my gosh! Oh! What the heck just happened? Somebody threw a fireball at Finley. Oh my gosh. Somebody just threw a fireball at Finley. Oh. That's a mask guy. Oh no. And Finley, oh man, Finley's holding his face in pain as uh I guess his mask guy's grabbing him. It's like introducing the challenger from Canada. Weighing in at 200. Hey, David. I didn't forget about you. I didn't forget about you, didn't I? Oh, that stings, doesn't it? You know, I got a lot more stuff that's going to hurt you a whole lot more than uh, that, buddy. You're coming with me. Oh, what the heck? This mask guy's hog tying, tying Finley and now taking him... And now drag him throughout the audience. What the hell? Well, Gabe Kid's in the ring and he's the only... What the... 
Oh, come on, man. Who the heck was that? And it's like right now, this mask guy's hog tying Finley and just dragging him along the arena floor. And you can hear the uh, you can hear the audible on uh, on this mask guy's phone saying that, "Come on, Finley, don't fight your punishment. You don't need you don't you don't need it. You don't need a jury. I'm the jury. I'm the judge. I'm the executioner." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, man, what the heck? I don't know. I, I, maybe I don't want to know who's under that mask. It sounds eerie. I've been waiting for you, Davey. Oh boy, Taylor's gonna be down here at the commentating table with us, I guess, distracting Gabriel Kidd. And right now Coleman says, hey, all this puts the button. Oh. Wait a minute, the mask man just told me I took care of that profit too. Oh man. Yeah, all this is out in the back. He's uh, he's uh, he's on the floor. He he's in a pool of blood right now. Oh my gosh, man! Who is this guy? Coleman's teleporting out, but oh, wait a minute! Coleman, Coleman just got to. Oh 
Damn it, but Coleman just got teleported in a cage in the van. I know all about you, Coleman. I know all about you, Coleman. I was ready for you. I was ready for you. I used Finley just to you just to get just to get to you. Oh man, Gabriel Kidd kicks out. What the hell? They said that Coleman teleported, but he teleported right in the cage in the, in the van of this guy. Gabriel Kidd beats Marcus for he retains the title. And he like goes in. Here is your winner. And still world heavyweight champion, War Gabriel Kidd. Oh, wait a minute. Gabriel Kidd is up there with the, uh, he's got the world title. He beat Marcus King. Marcus gets denied his opportunity to become a uh, world, world uh, double world champion. And now, wait a minute. There's something going on in the uh, tele teleprompter now. The uh, Titantron, uh, it's that mask guy. And now we got that going on. We got Iron Taylor attacking Gabriel Kidd. Hello, great fans of MSW. You're not going to know who I am, but you'll know soon. As you see right now... I got Adrian Coleman in the van right there. He's saying a higher power doesn't want him here? That's good, I spoke to that higher power. He told me the same thing, he doesn't want Coleman here. He wants me to destroy Coleman. And I'm going to do that, man. It's going to be his time. Next week, we're going to have the public execution of Adrian Coleman. I know everybody's looking at me like they're wondering who the heck I am. Wouldn't you like to know? Wouldn't you like to know? You know? And right now, Taylor is hitting uh, the masked man with the title. I figured you out, man. You're 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 some kind of entity that's got some kind of teleportation magic. You see, I I corrupted your teleportation device. You're not gonna use that cheap superhero bull crap on me, Coleman. Right now, you're in a glass cage. I'm gonna have you as a, I'm gonna put you up as a specimen. You have caused enough people a lot of pain, a lot of misery, a lot of suffering. And I'll tell you what, right now, if I would show who you are, if I would show who I am, I don't, I don't know if you believe me or not, Coleman. I don't know if you believe me or not. You know? Let's, but let's put it this way, Coleman. Just doing what you did to Joe Kenny was wrong. 
and it hurt me a whole little lot. I'll tell you that much right now. Joe Kenny was like a father figure to me. And you had you had the nerve to destroy him. That's the reason why I'm gonna take you to my house of torture. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna I'm just gonna deal with you the way I want to, Adrian. Maybe I might like, like I said, maybe I might film it live, Coleman. But you're doomed. You're you're freaking doomed, man. And anybody, you know, that's here's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to put out a warning right now. Aldous, Hammerstone, Carter Williams, Yoda Poopy. You do anything to anybody in this arena, and I'll make sure he suffers. I'll make sure Adrian suffers worse. Time for me to get in a van and get going here. And drive him to the destination where he's going to die at. I'll talk to you later, guys. Oh my gosh, that's chilling words. I don't know what to say, Leia. That scares, scares the hell out of me. I'll tell you how much right now. He's got Adrian Coleman, which is... I think he's got a lot of fans smiling, but everybody wants to know who the heck this guy is. I'll tell you what, and we're ending here with House of Torture jumping Taylor, all six of them. Wow. What the hell? And now security's turning in the ring, and they're trying to break it up here on uh, House of Torture. And Evil's now saying, hey, Taylor, let me speak, you pathetic waste of talent. I, I have something to say. Well, go ahead, Evil. I guess you do. Wow. Oh man, this uh, the, the exhibition championship's being cashed in. Oh man, there's so that means uh, Farkas is gonna have to wait for his title match, and next week it'll be Evil against uh Wow, Evil against Gabriel Kidd next week. Holy cow! Oh wait, yeah, was, uh, right now uh yeah, like I said, I would have done it tonight, but unfortunately I gotta get ready for work out of character here for a minute. I don't know if something else happens here. We'll show you clips of the thing tomorrow. For now, I am uh, Doyle King for Liam Moriarty. Good night, everyone. Thank you for joining us.